Hey guys, Melvin from HairTransplantNetwork.com. Today I want to talk about topical finasteride and dutasteride and whether these drugs will become the gold standard in the hair loss industry. Two months ago, I asked Dr. Wong of Hassan and Wong what his thoughts were on topical finasteride and I was honestly shocked to hear his response. So without further ado, here's his response. Hassan and Wong is one of the very few clinics that actually offer topical finasteride and have been offering topical finasteride, you know, for quite some time now. Um, what are your views on topical finasteride versus oral finasteride uh, for people who, you know, experienced um, side effects with the oral version? Uh, is, it, is it worth trying the topical finasteride in your opinion? Uh, it, it works every bit as well as, uh, as oral finasteride. Uh, the particular preparation we have, the absorption is only 5%. Right, uh, uh, normal preparation you can get blood blood absorption about thirty forty percent. So the side effect profile of, uh, of the top of weaves is uh, it's very good. the The trouble is is availability. There's only two pharmacy that that carry this particular preparation. Yeah, one is Milan, the other is in Vancouver. Because it's uh, it's off label used. Uh, Right now, it's not available in the U.S., but there is a company that that's uh, uh, starting to do trials, and we hope to get something in the market in the next two or three years. Yeah, that that's um, something that's been talked about, and especially lately, there's been a lot of talk of uh, topical detasteride, and uh, I know there's some famous YouTubers that have made videos on it, uh, claiming that there's even less incidence of side effects than um, with the topical finasteride. Have you got, do you guys have any experience with the topical detasteride or do you plan on, you know, um, compounding this at any time? Uh, well, I can't let say too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> what I've seen so far is really encouraging. Okay. Uh, but with just once a week application, the result it's uh, it's really amazing with with zero side effect because wow. we're very little absorption. So we're, we're we're very excited. I'm excited. I mean, there's excitement. <laughs> it's like that around the corner, that could be you know something huge, especially for someone like me who got side effects with the oral finasteride, which is why I don't personally take it. But you know, if there's something that uh, I could take topically that wouldn't necessarily inhibit you know hormone ho uh, your hormones systemically, then you know that's like that's the dream. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, topical finasteride, oral finasteride. I think it's going to be the gold standard in the future. Okay, here's something that's relatively affordable, it's easy to use, and uh, it works, it has no side effect. Like, it could cover all the bases. Hassan and Wong are in the process of releasing their topical formulations worldwide. I should be speaking with Dr. Hassan next month during our Instagram live Q&A, so I'll have some updates for you guys. These live sessions are awesome, so if you haven't joined, I suggest joining. You can ask any questions you like and get a response from one of the world's best hair transplant surgeons. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at the Hair Transplant Network. No doubt you're asking yourself two questions. Are there any studies that prove the efficacy of topical finasteride? And do those studies show systemic absorption? In PubMed, there were 67 studies researched, and this was the conclusion. The conclusion was that it appears to be effective and safe for patients wanting to minimize systemic absorption. There were no serious side effects reported. However, there were reports of erythema, dermatitis, elevated liver enzymes, and testicular pain, which is a common side effect from the oral version. Having said all that, there aren't a lot of studies to review and the sample sizes are actually pretty small. Another issue regarding topical finasteride and dutasteride is the correct formulation of vehicle. Solubility, concentration, potency, drug interactions, absorption, and degradation are dependent on the exact formulation of the vehicle. In plain English, not all formulas are equal. Some formulas may be less effective, less potent, and cause more side effects. 
That said, according to Hassan and Wong, their liposomal formula offers the best of both worlds, reducing systemic absorption whilst absorbing locally on the scalp. So hopefully I can get my hands on their formula and test it out for you guys. Stay tuned.